Hey guys, this is the Primate Sanctuary here in uh, Palm Harbor, Florida. It's a place for uh, mostly primates that have been, uh, they were kept in captivity and then they were uh, given away because they have really, really long lives. And so we're gonna check it out. It looks pretty cool so far. So here we go. Don't look too happy in there. So it's actually kind of sad to me because I, uh, my personal beliefs are that an animal should have a huge amount of space. Now these are primates and they're, they're kind of like people and they should have, to me, at least one acre per animal at the very least. So to see them in this enclosure is really, really sad. Um, they can't be, they can't be taken back to the wild. So it's kind of really a sad situation. They're in these tiny little cages. They're really cool to see, but I don't know. I don't really like seeing them like that. I know they don't have anywhere else to go. So that's why they would put them in a place like this, but hopefully they could find something better for them. Uh, me personally, I would just put them back in the wild as close to where they were as possible. Um, the reason why they don't generally put them back in the wild is because of the genetics. Um, they crossbreed subspecies together in captivity and the only way to really be able to uh, be okay with sending an animal back out into the wild is uh, to not crossbreed them. So they would probably do a DNA before they released it too to make sure that they released it into the right area. And I guess the chimpanzee's name is the Pan. That's his uh, Latin name, I guess. Pan genus. Oh, there's a baboon. That's the largest monkey there, and he's actually really large. He looks upset, probably bored. I can't imagine living life in a cage. So for me too, I'm, I am interested in like nanos and stuff like that. But to me, I think certain animals are better left in the wild. Um, either that, if we're gonna have them, they really need the space uh, for them to be happy. So that's the most important thing to me. I mean, cause these are like, to me, they're like people. He's just hanging out and if you notice the way they ha they act <laughs> I don't want to like make it all sad but the way they act is where they're just hanging in the bars like they're they're bored and they want something to do and it's not the fault of the people who are trying to save them they're just doing what they got to do for them so that they don't euthanize them so anyways this is a if you can see it there's a gopher tortoise this is native to Florida in the southeastern United States. I've actually kept these before. I found them and then, then I released them again. And you're not supposed to do that, but I did. Um, I've kept uh, desert tortoises as well because I'm from California, uh, the Mojave Desert. So it's uh, kind of an unusual biotope for me. I went from an, one extreme to the other. I went from a true desert to, you know, three to five inches a year to almost a, a tropical rainforest here in Florida. And this is a solicata. It's an African spurred tortoise. We've seen those in the last video at the Clearwater Aquarium.